Statistics from the Civil Aviation Organization indicate that in Africa, low-cost carriers ferried at least 1.3 billion passengers and accounted for 31% of the world's shedded passengers. This is expected to grow as low-cost carriers continue to gain traction. We think that there's opportunity, there is a market for all of us. Um, we, we, are not, we don't believe we are coming to take anybody's market. We believe we are actually going to create traffic because of uh, what we're going to offer this market. Local carriers are embracing the low-cost model to minimize operating costs by not offering traditional services and amenities such as meals. Those people who just want to fly, like we have tried, just come in and out, can only buy for the, the, the seat and, and then everything else they can buy separately. Jumbo Jet Chief Alan Kivaluka says this model allows for passengers to pay for these services at their behest, hence effectively lowering the cost of travel. However, according to the International Air Transport Authority, low-cost carriers in Africa account for only 12% seat capacity in the continent, creating a need for expansion. We wait to see when we'll get those approvals, and once we get those approvals uh, and we're ready, we, then we'll fly. So we anticipate that that will be around February next year, but we're not sure yet and, until we get a firm uh, uh, commitment that we'll get the approvals to fly to to Mogadishu. Government officials expect tourist arrivals from Rwanda to grow following the launch of direct flights by Jumbo Jet. In the volumes of travel both ways, Kenyans coming here and Rwandese coming to Kenya to go up, particularly those ones traveling on budget, the budget traveler. So for instance, Rwandese coming to sample of our beach attractions will find uh, coming to our country much more affordable. And Kenyans coming here to sample uh, the attractions available in this country will also equally find the car coming here to be affordable. The low-cost carrier is also eyeing starting flights to South Sudan, Mogadishu, Tanzania, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Union of Comoros and Malawi, with Somalia as its third regional destination earmarked for a launch next year. For low cost airlines to take up a chunk of the market share there is needed to unbundle uh, variables in air transport such that passengers now get to pay for only what they use and what is necessary comfort refreshments all at the touch of a button well if this model is to succeed time will tell regina manyara guitar reporting for channel one business on board of flight 8547 bound for kigali Rwanda.